Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over audio, how to implement a single shot audio for the blaster, and then we're going to go into how to create basic ambience audio and hook those up to audio buses. And so what we're first going to do is we're going to look over here at the audio that I've imported. I've got a couple of audio clips here, one from Unfa, one from Knock Sound, and another from Knock Sound, and of course links to them in the description. They are wonderful creators over on freesounds.org. Highly recommend you use their and Freesound in general audio. But make sure whenever you're using the audio to look at the license. These were all Creative Commons. Some of them require that you cannot use them for commercial, and I would highly suggest you look over them and make sure you get what you need without infringing on any licenses. But if you go over here to the audio clip, so if you just hit play, you get a blaster sound effect. And then of course we also have an ambient wind, and we have ambient music. Now, a couple, an important thing to note, and this tripped me up forever, whether audio loops or not is entirely based off the clip itself. So if you go here and you hit import, you'll have this loop mode option here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this to forward, and that's just going to mean it's going to loop all the way through. If we play it without it real quick, and we get to the end, you'll notice the seconds are right up near the 470, and we tip over and it stops. So let's go ahead and re-import that with loop mode on forward. And if we go up here and we set it right up towards the end, it'll play through from the beginning. And that's obviously very important for ambient sounds, not so important for gunshot sounds, for blaster sounds. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go over and we're going to start with the blaster. Let's go ahead and create a audio stream player 3D. And this is going to let you play audio within a 3D space. And let's go ahead and drag in the blaster clip just for testing. You can hear it is much quieter when you're farther away. And there's a lot of options here to manipulate that. Unit size and max distance are the primary ones. Then you've also got pitch scale. So pitch scale is an interesting one. It can add variance and difference to your attacks as well as just change the pitch. And that's what I'm actually going to be controlling to make the shots be a little bit random. So first off, let's go ahead and make a couple scripts. And this is going to be a copy of the blaster controller scripts that we've already been using. So all I'm going to do is just go over here to Raycasting Part 2 and we're going to pull those two scripts. All right, so we went ahead and duplicated those scripts. We just named them Blaster Controller V2, and this is because we're going to be doing a slight variation of the Blaster Controller, and I don't want to mess with the original or worry about inheritance right now. And what we're just going to do is we're going to create a new Blaster Controller that will trigger that audio whenever we fire. So we're going to go ahead and jump into code and implement that gunshot audio. All right, so we're going to get started with a couple of exports. First, we're going to need the Blaster Audio Stream Player. So this is going to be the source of the audio. Then we're also going to need the audio clip that plays. These are referred to as audio streams. There are multiple different audio streams for WAV and MP3 and stuff, but if you just use audio stream, you can use any of them in this location. They all derive from it. Then you can also go ahead and create the export for min blaster pitch change. This is going to be the bottom range of the pitch change for the randomness. And then, of course, the max. And we're also going to create an RNG object, which we've used in previous tutorials to create random numbers. And we are also going to create the base blaster pitch value. This is just going to make sure that we don't wander too far from the base pitch and instead use it as reference each time we are creating a new random pitch. Next, we're going to go ahead and implement the ready function with the override in C sharp. And we're going to set the base blaster pitch to the current pitch scale of blaster audio. Now, on the Godot script side, we also have to go ahead and initialize the RNG object. On C sharp, we have done that in line when we declared it in the first place. Now, on both of them, we'll go ahead and go down to the fire shot script or the fire shot function. And we're going to first randomize RNG. Then we're going to go ahead and set the blaster pitch or the blaster pitch scale to a random value 
plus the blaster the base blaster pitch from the range with the min and max uh, blaster pitch values as the minimum and maximum for the range. Finally, we're going to go ahead, as soon as we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and set the stream on blaster audio to the selected audio clip. In this case, I believe it's called blaster shot clip. Then finally, all we're going to do is do blaster audio dot play, and this will go ahead and execute that audio clip. All right, and we're back in Godot. So let's go ahead and set the blaster controller to, let's go ahead and make it the C sharp variant. So we're going to go to blaster controller V2 on CS. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in the blaster clip right here, right there, my bad. And we're going to drag in the audio stream. And then we're going to put this as negative 0.1 and 0.2. That way it leans a little bit more on the high pitch side. And we're going to go ahead and drag in the raycast as normal and the laser effect as normal. I forgot that the damageable tweening node has to be also C sharp. So let's go ahead and make that C sharp real quick. Put that as circular, base material, hit material. We're going to have to pull those from another... All right, so all that should work. Let's go ahead and hit play. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what we have is basic audio playing. It's a little bit loud, though. Why don't we go ahead and tone that down? And we're going to tone that down not by going just straight up to the audio and toning it down. We could do that, but it's a little bit of a naive way to adjust audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and we have the audio bus panel. And so this is going to allow us to group up audio effects and affect all of them at the same time. So let's go ahead and add a bus, and this bus is going to be Blaster. This is just going to affect all the Blaster shots. So if you go over here to the Blaster audio stream, and you select Blaster instead of Master, and let's tone this down to about negative five. And if you move, the, when you're moving this, this is the volume, but it's in decimals, not percentage. And if you hold down Control, it will snap to the nearest integer. And you've also got a couple of options here. Solo lets you just play that audio bus. Then you've also got mute and finally bypass. That'll ignore that audio bus. You've also got some effects down here and this little button right here. So as we add other audio buses, say we wanted to add an ambience audio bus, we can select this and make it child of the blaster. So whatever happens in this audio bus will then be passed through this before it gets to master. We will come back to this when we implement the ambient. But for now, let's go ahead and decrease the audio a little bit and let's go ahead and add an equalizer. It, there's a lot of different options here and the documents will be in the description. But for now, we're just gonna do equalizer I do not need to. And here you've got a couple of options. If you increase the lower bands, this will generally add more bass to your shots. So let's go ahead and hit play. This will be slightly quieter, but more bass. Now let's go ahead and get an ambience. So we've got ambience column. Let's add world ambience and let's add music ambience. And we're both, we're gonna make both of these children of ambience. Now, if you decrease the volume of one of these and not the other, these will be changed based off of each other. Then the b entirety of them will be changed based off of ambience. So this way you can balance the world ambience, the music ambience, and then you could even maybe let the player control this to turn on or off ambience in total. Let's go ahead and set that to zero and let's set this, I think around to negative 10. I don't want it to be too loud and let's set the music down to negative 12. And let's go ahead and create the audio sources for those. So we're just going to create audio stream player. It just plays it non-positionally. This way we always have audio, the audio playing. And we're going to create one. And this one's just going to be called wind. And let's duplicate that. And we're going to call it music. So we're going to drag in the ambient wind from knock sound into the wind one. And if you hit play right here, that's what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and put it into world ambience. And it's a fair bit quieter now that it's actually based off of the world ambience as opposed to just master. So let's go ahead and add in the music and let's set that to music ambience. Let's make sure to set both of them to autoplay. 
This will mean that they play once the game starts. An important note about audio buses, as powerful as they are, they do have one drawback, and that's that changes in here don't affect the game until you restart it. So now you have wind and you have music intermixing with one another, along with the blaster shots. That's going to be it today. Though I am very pleased with the audio, we still don't have on impact audio. And for that, I think that I will be doing something a little bit different. I would like to go into groups and signals as I have not touched this as of yet due to my own unsureness over whether I could do it justice. So we'll be doing that. Thank you everyone who has been subscribed, everyone who's watching the videos. I'm glad that the videos that I'm making are of use to people. And as always, have a wonderful day.